Hey my lovelies, thank you for joining me today here on Lumiere. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you are all doing really well. Today's pick a card reading is their secret feelings exposed. So how do they secretly feel about you deep down? We're gonna be taking a look at all of that, how they're feeling, what they are thinking, and the energies surrounding you both. So let's jump in and take a look at the groups. I've got group number one, group number two, and group number three. Take as much time as you need to make your selection, pause the video if you need a little bit more time, but let your intuition guide you that inner voice as to which of the groups is gonna resonate with you today. While you make your selection, I will just let you know that if you want to get a personal reading, then Kasamba are offering Lumiere subscribers three minutes absolutely for free with the Five Star Psychic of your choice. So you get three minutes for free and you can use that three minutes as many times as you like to have one question answered or just to find the psychic who you truly resonate with. And after that, you get 70% off your entire call. So you can get a high quality five-star psychic reading for a fraction of the price with Kasamba. Their details are linked in the description box. But when you are ready and you have made your selection as to which of the groups is for you today, then hit your timestamp. All the details are also in the description box below and I will see you in a moment. Hey everyone, this is Claire. This is your reading for everyone who picked group number one and the beautiful quartz crystal cluster. I'll pop that there and then this beautiful card as well. So we're going to find out what their secret feelings for you are, what are they hiding, what are they holding back from you, what is it that you don't know. We're going to be exploring the energy surrounding you and your person. I sense a lot of Scorpio energy in this connection, not necessarily, but it could be in your chart or your person's chart as well. I feel like this is a very uh, potent connection. It feels kind of like there's a lot of strength behind the energy between you both. So it could be like a very magnetic connection that you have. I can tell you that you've been brought into each other's lives to really create a lot of change okay potent positive powerful right these are all the words that I'm getting change in your life so it's like you're bringing codes to one another which unlock aspects of your consciousness for your own expansion and your soul's growth so that may be why it's so powerful this isn't an everyday sort of connection that you have with this person and you may resonate with this you may feel that energy okay so i also sense that this um connection is going through like a lot of upheaval right now or transformation the dynamic between you is really shifting and changing. There's a phoenix from the ashes sort of an energy as well. So you may feel like, you know, is this the end? Is this over? Is this a missed opportunity? Okay, I feel like there's some sort of phoenix from the ashes energy here as well and that there is a new beginning that is coming in for you um, or some sort of fresh start. So I'll pop that there and then we'll kind of look at some oracle cards and then the tarot for you and see what's going on. Just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest behind. Oh, we have confessions. Oh, for secret feelings. So I feel like they've got a lot that they have on their mind. Okay, a lot that's weighing down their heart that they really want to express. And what I'm hearing is you are the only person that can bring them relief from these thoughts and feelings. Okay, so they can talk about it to their friends, they can talk about it to whoever, but it's only you that makes them feel better or kind of confessing this or um, expressing this uh, will only bring them relief if they express it to you. This also said unexpected message. Uh, sorry about the flashback from my studio lights now. Um, so you may... Um, receive some sort of message from out of the blue you know maybe when you're least expecting it when maybe when you're not even thinking about this person anymore or at that time whoa look at that <laughs> this one's just leaping out of the deck it says only you so pink roses may be a sign for you in this connection so it feels like your person only has eyes for you nobody else compares to you okay nobody else has quite that frequency that energy that you do so uh, you've definitely made an impression on this person okay let's see what message they have for you
release. So there's an energy of surrender here. So like I was saying, there's a lot of transformation here in this connection, a lot of change going on that can feel very chaotic. It can feel very upsetting, uh, perhaps. So there is a kind of letting go process here. Or really what I'm hearing is surrender. So you wanna surrender to the unfolding of this process right now and just know that everything is working out uh, in your highest good, I know it's easier said than done than, you know, to trust the universe, to trust your person, to do the right thing, but there is some unexpected energy here, so um, what I'm hearing is relax into it, so there's like a, a softening uh, from you, a kind of, um, it's a surrender in your energy where you sort of give it up to the universe or give it up to God. And I feel that by kind of releasing your grip on this situation of wanting to control the outcome, it's going to come back around to you in like the most beautiful way. Let's see what else is happening. Your person has some insecurities is what I'm sensing. That may show up in the form of like controlling. Um... It doesn't feel like it's in a bullying way or anything like that. This person could be your divine masculine as well. That may resonate with you. Aries energy, um, Libra's energy as well, Aquarius energy. That may resonate with you. This person is really like having sleepless nights about you. This has created a lot of anxiety. It's like their truth, right? Their truth is creating a lot of anxiety. They're afraid to tell you what is um, on their mind or what is in their heart. It's like they're trying to keep a lid on their feelings. They're trying to keep their feelings under control. Their behavior may also be a little bit controlling as well, but this is due to their own, um, what do I want to say? Like uh, wanting to stay in their comfort zone. Okay, so it may feel like a little bit restrictive. Um, and this is why you don't want to go along with that. I feel like this is why you've got this release. You want to release yourself from the pattern of their own thought processes, okay? And just be true to yourself. Let's see what else we have. I feel like this, more Scorpio energy here, Pisces energy as well. I feel like this person may not have been like a good friend to you in some way, or they may not be listening to what it is that you have to say. This is the message that I'm getting most strongly. They want you to hear their side of things. I think they've got a lot on their mind. They're thinking a lot through, but I feel very much like they're, this controlling energy is really just like that they haven't been willing to listen to you or you're speaking to them, but they're not hearing, right, spiritually or emotionally what it is that you have to say to them, okay? It may also be that they're kind of blocking any communication from you or they don't want to hear about your feelings. Now, this is something because it triggers some something in them. This is a trigger for them. Okay, maybe trying to validate you, trying to meet your needs, um, or just like that mirror that you hold up to them about their own actions, their own behavior, um, their own weaknesses. You know, everyone is human and has that shadow side and the things that we need to work on in this life. And there's something about you which mirrors that to them in quite a, a potent way, right? And um, they're just like, I'm just here... Um, what I'm hearing is I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, okay? And Or it maybe I don't want to see it. So there's something about where you just say, when you do this, it makes me feel like this. They can't handle it. It's too triggering. It makes them feel too insecure. It makes them feel not good enough. It makes them feel wrong. So there, it's like they're unable to take personal responsibility in some way. I don't think this is a bad person. I think this is just like um, something that is in their energy field that perhaps they need to work on a little bit. Or it's just a phase, you know, it could be a very particular thing where they're just like, I don't want to hear about this, I don't want to know. Um, it's what I'm sensing. They're also afraid that you're going to find out something about them and that you will consider them unlovable if you found this truth out. It's like they've got a persona or some a way that they've presented themselves to you. And it's like maybe they've got a skeleton in their closet or they've got something um, from their past which they're not proud of, that they're ashamed of, right? And that's their truth and they're hiding it because they feel like if you knew, 
you wouldn't care about them, you wouldn't be able to love them, you would find them abhorrent or disgusting or or just like you just won't want to know them and so they feel like they have to keep it on the down low or they have to keep it a secret or it could just be some aspect of themselves that they believe to be unlovable they go to great lengths is what i'm hearing from spirit to kind of um keep people and you away from this truth away from this insecurity got a lot of intense emotion behind this that's their secret that they're holding back from you Let's see what else we have. Mm, it's interesting. Leo's energy showing up in your reading right now. I don't know how to express this. They, they feel like you have the capacity to hurt them. Now, it may be the case that you have hurt them, right? Or there could be like trust issues from your person which are unfounded, okay? um or have no grounds okay so it may be that they have difficulty trusting you or trusting anybody is what i'm saying or just the fact that um they know that if they connect with you they'll be vulnerable and then they risk getting hurt okay so that's what i'm seeing when they see you that that's what they they pick up on okay and this person does want to message you they've got a lot that they want to say to you They've definitely been asking around about you. They're trying to pick up clues. They've been checking you out on social media. And maybe that you're only talking to each other on social media. Or there's something that they've seen on your social media or something that they've heard about you and what you're doing in your life right now. Um, which is very painful for them. So it may be that they've heard that you are dating somebody else or that you've moved on. Or that you're, you're no longer interested in them. Heard it on the grapevine is what I'm hearing, right? Um, and that is very painful for them. But also there's something about like spying on you or hearing about you which lights them up. You know, when they hear your name in a conversation or they catch a glimpse of you in the office or... Um, I'm going to grab this deck actually. Um... Or they see that you've commented on, on their social media or you've been looking at them, right? It makes them feel good. Makes them feel happy. Let's see, what else have we got? feel like you're in a period of no contact, a period of change or transition, maybe you're in separation, maybe you've taken a break, or, or just like you're just in a period of transition, maybe you're not getting on very well. There's an energy here that I picked up, um, which really, the message I got was I tried my best and my best wasn't good enough for you. And I don't think it's because you're really hard to please, I think it's because your person couldn't figure out how to meet your needs. Okay, maybe you didn't express them really directly or maybe your person um, found it difficult to be open enough to connect, to be vulnerable. So there's an energy here about your person coming towards you and being a little bit tentative, a little bit uh, shy, a little bit reticent to do that. Maybe they took too long, that's what I'm sensing, to kind of make their move or to um, seize this opportunity with you and it's kind of withered, like withered on the vine. I just kind of missed that chance, that kind of window of opportunity. You know, maybe you're just like, oh no, I'm, I'm moving on. Or I'm not interested. I see two people who didn't quite connect. I see Aquarius, Libra energy, Taurus energy, more Scorpio energy as well. That may resonate with you. It's like, I don't know whether you've taken your energy elsewhere or you've closed your energy off to this person. Um... They see you as a little bit distant right now. That could be because you're physically distant or you've just distanced your energy or you're just playing it cool a little bit just to protect yourself. Let's see. They're holding back is what I'm sensing. They want to be open and honest with you. 
there is an energy here where you make them feel safe. You make them feel safer than anybody else. So if they are going to open up to love, if they are going to connect heart to heart, it's going to be with you. Okay, you've, I think you've given them a lot of chances or you've been, you know, you've really worn your heart on your sleeve. You've invited them to come closer to you. I feel like you've got like a very compassionate nature, a very gentle nature, that you're very emotionally intelligent, that you see them clearly, which may be part of the trigger, is that you understand them. It may be the case that you understand them better than they understand themselves. I think they kind of, they want to free themselves from this prison of like, like they've been holding their heart back, holding their heart in a cage. They want to open up to you. But there is this energy where they're kind of holding back. There's such a strong energy here where they, they see things differently. Something that was a trigger for them in the past or was an insecurity for them in the past or that they were worried about or caused them a lot of anxiety isn't an issue now. Now that they've had this time apart or this time to think about things. They want you to be warmer towards them. Energetically, maybe emotionally. Very much bound up to your energy still. Virgo's energy as well. Cancer energy. Let's see. They want you to make the first move. They want you to be the first to crack, is what I'm hearing. To break, maybe. Break the silence, break the distance, break um, the dynamic, the energy that you are in at the moment. More Taurus energy showing up here. I feel like they want to come towards you with a message or they want to make an offer. They see that there is potential here. They still have you in their sights, is what I'm hearing. They still have feelings for you. They see your value. They see your worth. They see everything that you bring to the table. They know that you're magical. They're thinking about the future, about the long term. They want to make you an offer to see if you can develop this. But there's something here where they're just like, they're going to do it in a roundabout way. They don't feel able right, to approach you directly. Okay, just to be there face to face and say what it is that they want to say. That makes them feel too vulnerable or too shy. Okay, so I feel like it's going to come in the form of like a text um, or a message. And it's going to feel like quite inconsequential. You know, I feel like you're going to get a message from them and it's not going to quite be what you want it to be. They're going to like just send you a meme or something that's like they're going to reach out to you or try and bridge this gap or try and change things or um, try and feel your warmth or like test the waters a little bit through something quite inconsequential a little joke a meme the hey text but there's a lot more right a lot more behind it so I see them trying to kind of get access to you or test the water in this really roundabout way not directly okay it could be through somebody else uh through a friend um something like this but that's not the main message that I'm getting. I feel like they, they've got a lot on their mind that they want to share with you. They want to see how you are, how you're feeling, what's going on with you. They're looking for an opportunity to do that and they haven't found one as well as the message that I'm getting. They want to talk about this connection. They want to talk about the future, about the potential in this connection. It could be that they want another chance with you, especially if it's a missed opportunity, but they haven't found that opportunity in order to um, raise this issue with you or talk to you that openly or be that direct with you right maybe they keep missing the boat they haven't been brave enough but yeah a strong message that they're going to do this in a roundabout way or that, or that they're going to test the water a little bit before uh, they kind of fully commit so it's going to be like a softly softly approach 
All right, you guys, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you for being here with me in the gloom. I don't know if you can even see me, um, but um, I've loved being here with you. If you want to get a personal reading, do check out Cassambo. You get three minutes absolutely for free. You can use those three minutes as many times as you like to find a psychic that you resonate with. Always choose someone with a five-star rating, or you can use that three minutes, so, which are free, uh, to have one question answered as well. And after that, if you want to continue your call, you get 70% off your entire call so it's a really ma amazing way of getting a five star psychic reading for a fraction of the normal price Cassamba are really really friendly loads of lovely people on there so do check them out they're linked below in the description box but i'm sending you love take care hey there my lovelies this is claire and this is your reading for everyone who picked the beautiful little agate moon which is lovely we'll pop that there and then this card as well so a lot of pisces energy may be um showing up in your connection that may resonate with you in your birth chart or your person's chart but not necessarily i feel like emotions are running very high in this connection that it is a very emotionally charged is what i'm hearing from spirit uh connection between you and your person so we will take a look at their secrets their secret feelings their thoughts for all you guys in group number two, uh, the energies between you both and find out what's going on for you. Now, I feel like for a lot of you, there may be more going on in the 5D and energetically and emotionally, right, than there is in the 3D. Not for all of you, but just for some of you. This has got like a strong spiritual connection. You may even be twin flames, but definitely soulmates as well. I feel like you have a lot of telepathic communication with this person. You pick up on a lot of their energies, even though they're not necessarily around around or around you at the time you can kind of sense what's going on uh, with this person they don't need to say anything right you just know and vice versa like I feel like uh, you understand each other on that spiritual level so this is what I'm picking up for you guys um there was something else I wanted to say but it's just slipped away so we'll just uh it's important it will come back let's look at your oracle cards and this may even be, you know, the energy that I'm getting from your person or from you is that this whole relationship may be a secret, right? Not for all of you. This is just whoever I'm connecting with, one or two of you. I'm getting like a clandestine vibe here. This like undercurrent that I'm picking up on about the 5D. It could also just be because this connection is a secret. Maybe you're having to keep it a secret because you don't want people to know about it just yet because it isn't official or because there's something about it where um, people would, um, where it's forbidden in some way, right? You know, a workplace romance, something like this. Um, so we just, I'm hearing testing the waters as well. Maybe you're just kind of seeing how things go. This could be like, you're crushing on each other, but it isn't necessarily, um, you know, it would be frowned upon in some way. You can't like, so it's unspoken is what I'm sensing. Like, you know that, that they're into you and they know that you're into them. And yet maybe nothing's been said about it or nothing's been done. You haven't acted on it perhaps. And yet your souls are still calling out to each other is what I'm sensing. Let's see. Shallow. So there's something here which is a little bit superficial. This could be to do with, um, you know, what we were talking about right now. Uh, you know, about like the surface level, that kind of superficial, that kind of surface level. Maybe you're trying to act like you're just friends or you're just colleagues or there isn't more to it. Okay, having to put on a bit of an act, not necessarily, but that's just for some of you. Um, is what I'm sensing. Like not giving much away. This is the message that I'm getting. Maybe your person isn't giving very much away about how they're feeling and yet they kind of give themselves away energetically, but maybe not through their actions, but you know what's going on with them. You may be thinking, is all this in my head? It isn't. You are genuinely picking up on their energies. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness, real love. What did I say? What did I say? Is this in my head? No. Real, true, genuine feelings have developed here. Pink roses may be a sign for you. And they actually came up in group number one as well. So there are some overlap uh, spiritual messages from group number one coming through right now. So, um, or roses in general. This is so lovely. It makes me feel like very warm in my heart space. This person has a soft spot for you, for definite. 
But they may be pretending otherwise. They may think that they're hiding their feelings, but you know the score, you know what's going on. Or you may be trying to hide that, your feelings from them. But there is genuine emotion here, for sure. For sure, for definite. Okay, <laughs> let's see what else you have. It's making me feel really giggly and like, um, like excited. Maybe there's kind of a, an exciting frisson between you and this person. Um, I, I cannot stop smiling and I'm blushing a little bit as well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Maybe this person makes you feel weak at the knees. <laughs> I can't help it. Let's see. Fate. <laughs> you guys, this is so potent and powerful. This, it says, this is a destined partnership. I'm still blushing. What is this energy? You guys, like, I can even feel it, like, down my arms and everything. Like, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting hot. There's something about this. It's kind of making me blush all over. Maybe you just blush when you see this person or this bl person blushes when they see you. Maybe that's that pink rose as well. Blushing. Um... Because like you're trying to keep a lid on your feelings or something or trying not to give things away. And the more you suppress something, the more it comes out in like a distorted way. But yeah, fate, fate. This is destiny. You and this person, soulmate energy. It's almost like you've all always been in each other's lives energetically. There's an energy of like, not like, oh, I've met this person or I've met this new person of kind of there you are. Right, if that's how you feel about it, this is definitely your reading. If when you met this person or your eyes first met and you just thought, oh, there you are. That's why. That is why. Destined to meet this person in this life. Let's find out what's going on. Crazy messages coming out. I'm still blushing. <laughs> right, let's see. What's going on for group number two? I can't go with it. There's a decision that needs to be made here. Gemini energy showing up as well. That may resonate with you. Soulmate twin flame energy. I have just got goosebumps all over. Soulmate twin flame energy. This is the real deal. This is your person. This was like written in the stars. Okay. But the thing is, I've got to say this right. And if this isn't your message, if it's not what's going on for you, don't take it. You know, these are general readings. You take what resonates, you leave the rest, you know the score. But I've got to say the message that's coming through. There's a decision that needs to be made about this connection. And I feel like they've got to um, choose like you or someone else. And I feel like it's because either you or both of you or one of you is already in a connection. And it may be an unhappy marriage, it may be an unhappy connection, they may just be in this connection because it's their responsibility, right? But they've outgrown it, is what I'm hearing. Or you have outgrown your circumstances, okay? And a decision needs to be made. So it could be to do with that, that there's already been a promise that's been made for some of you, and there's a decision um, to be made about this, okay? Or it could just be like I said, that there was this energy of the, it having to be a secret or clandestine, that you, you need to decide uh, whether or not you're going to pursue this in the face of this um, external reason why you shouldn't, which could be to do with your career, um, your kind of the rules of your workplace if you work together, um, the fact that your families would disown you or uh, wouldn't support the match, right? You're destined to be with this person though. There is going to be a way around this. If there's a problem here or an issue or a block that you're picking up on that you're both aware of, okay, there is a way around this. There is a solution. You may not be able to see it. Okay, so that's the message. If it's yours, take it. You can claim it. If it isn't, that's all good as well. But we'll explore this a little bit further. Powerful energy showing up here as well. So they love seeing you. They love your energy. They love being around you. They've been trying to get your attention. They enjoy receiving your attention. They enjoy giving you attention. 
and maybe that they've got status as well in society, in a church, in a business, um, you know, in a connection that they're already in. You know, it may look like a, a happy marriage from the outside, but inside it sort of isn't and they've outgrown it. But they've got status with that, with their families, okay, for some of you. So this is making it a difficult decision or it's making it like a very difficult situation for them to move on from. But they want, they've they outgrown it. Whatever it is that's holding them back, they keep it well hidden behind, you know, they try, they try and be confident. You know, they try and be positive is what I'm hearing. Leo Sagittarius energy showing up here. And... They do a good job of putting on that brave face, of putting on that persona, of making the best out of things. But really, they've outgrown it. It could be a relationship, a situation, a place. Um, it could be a person. Um, and really, it's kind of time to move on from that now. It could be an idea about who they thought they were as well about what they thought they wanted that they've outgrown but the fact is it's getting too uncomfortable to continue to be in that energy or to continue to be in that space or to continue to be with that person and like if they don't make the decision that needs to be made life is going to make it for them life moves on anyway life changes anyway it's going to carry them in a direction and if they don't make a a solid decision for themselves in life or the universe will decide for them and you know may that may not be in their favor let's see what else is going on again look at this you've got the lovers and the two of cups showing up in your reading you guys are blowing me away Oh, I feel a bit more settled now, though, so that's nice. So I see Cancer's energy here, Virgo energy, more Gemini energy showing up in your reading right now. It's, feel, it's like their hands are tied, is what I'm hearing. They feel like they can't do anything about this love. I feel like you're in spiritual union, so you may be married in the 5D. Um, they see you as a very special person. Like It's like their heart is calling out to your heart. They recognized you at the heart level from the moment that they met you and yet their hands are tied. They feel like they're tied to their responsibilities, another person, another situation. They recognize you as the one. They recognize you as a soulmate or a twin flame. They want to be in union with you and yet there's something that's holding them back, which is keeping them tied. It could be red tape, right? Um, paperwork, You've made them see the light a little bit as well. You know, maybe they didn't realize that they'd outgrown this situation. Sorry, I'm not going to take that because I haven't asked the question yet. Um, yeah, that you've made them realize. It's like coming into contact with your energy has made them realize that they've outgrown their current situation or this current relationship and they didn't realize. And now it's become so uncomfortable for them. They need to make some sort of sacrifice in order to make this. Um, and they are aware of this. This is in their energy field that they need to make some sort of sacrifice in order to make this happen with you. You know, sacrificing their old beliefs, their old ideas, um, you know, whatever is no longer serving them in order to make you their king or their queen, their partner, to get onto the same page with you. Let's see. It's like you've put them in a tight spot or they're like in an uncomfortable situation right now. I feel like your person is a really good person. They don't want to hurt anybody in this process is what I'm sensing. And yet they, what I'm hearing is they're caught between a rock and a hard place as well. Um, that they feel like there's no winning in this situation. I don't know how this resonates for you. These are just the messages that are coming out. Um, Leo's energy showing up here really strongly as well. But it's just like... It's like they're trying to choose between what they think is right and what their heart wants authentically or what is familiar to them or the direction that they thought they were going in and the unknown. But definitely this energy where they're caught between that. Um, 
but the curiosity that they have around you and the energy and this whole situation again makes them feel uh, quite uncomfortable emotionally all right they know that they're going to have to be quite brave they're going to have to get in touch with their inner strength in order if they were going to pursue this with you okay they are 100% in love with you though 100% in love with you okay let's see Again, I feel like there's a couple of messages, Libra's energy showing up here, Taurus energy as well, that may resonate with you. The message that I'm getting is that they would have to leave behind another relationship. You know, maybe they've already got kids with somebody or they'd have to get a divorce in order to pursue this with you. But they see like a wealth of beauty, of opportunity with you on the other side of that and they would experience that. Um, if they were to pursue that okay if that message isn't resonating with you then it's something about paperwork red tape legalities business dealings a business partner a family situation or like a family business that they would have to leave behind or that they would no longer be able to um, pursue or be involved in or that there would be legal repercussions or uh, ramifications um, from pursuing this with you or some sort of debt to pay okay like they feel like they'd be made to pay for it if they if they chose you if they pursued this with you this is a heavy message you guys <laughs> I knew it was gonna be um, I only take it if it resonates like someone would punish them in some way you know, like their family would turn their back on them or their friends wouldn't understand. Some sort of energy of like not being understood if they chose you. Maybe because you're from different religions, different cultures, different backgrounds, different socioeconomic groups. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I see them taking action towards you and wanting to commit to you. Especially if you resonate as their Divine Feminine. Lots of Taurus energy here, Libra's energy as well. Okay, I see them taking action towards you. Like being serious about this is what I'm sensing. You're like nobody else they've ever met. They see a future with you. They daydream about a future with you. Maybe you've talked about a future together. Having a family creating something together, building a house, making a beautiful garden, starting a business, just creating a life together, getting a dog, I don't know, um, but creating something with you. But I feel like they're going to take action on this love, they're going to take action on their feelings that they have for you, and that this is going to be a solid commitment that they're making you. This is in the future, I'm hearing like six months, so there's a little bit of time to explore things, to get to know each other, to work things out. To allow things to unfold there is time here okay but they are going to take action towards you like direct action it's just like there is one road there is one direction and it is like towards you it is in your direction in order to commit to you in order to choose you and choose this love that you share already okay that was a potent reading. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. I would love to hear. Uh, I'm sorry my messages are a bit heavy. I sometimes feel like I should make them a little bit lighter so that they appeal to more people. But anyway, they just come out how they come out. But thank you for being here with me. I've loved being here with you. If you want to find out more about this situation and timescales and, uh, you know, get your personal questions answered, do check out Kasamba. You get three minutes for free. You can use that time to see if you resonate with the psychic who you have chosen. And you can use that as many times as you like. And then if you want to continue your call after the three minutes, then you get 70% off your entire call, um, which is a really amazing way of getting a five-star psychic reading for an absolute fraction of the price 
nice and do choose someone with um, a five star rating. Loads of friendly, uh, lovely psychics over at Cassamba. They're a really friendly platform. I highly recommend them. Do check them out. They're linked below in the description box, but I'm sending you love. Take care. Hey there, my lovelies. This is Claire and this is your reading for everyone who picked the double terminated amethyst crystal. There you go, it's so beautiful. Let's pop that here and this beautiful card as well. So a lot of Leo energy in your chart or your person's chart, but not necessarily. That may resonate with you in your situation. I really feel like you and your person have had a lot of good times together already that you share like a strong bond is what I'm hearing from Spirit, like a strong friendship. You have the same sense of humor, quite lighthearted, right? A lot of fun times with this person. It may be that they like to, uh, you know, send funny memes, play practical jokes, uh, things like this, or just kind of uh, just make you laugh. They enjoy that. Or that you've had good times together. I'm hearing travel as well. So it may be the case that you have traveled with this person at some point or that that is on the cards as well. But let's explore this. Let's find out their secret feelings for you, uh, what it is they're thinking, the energy surrounding you both. beauty oh my goodness this is so nice there's a swan here so that is the sign of the twin flame so that may uh, resonate with you in your situation but yeah just a lot of beauty in this connection they find you very attractive very beautiful very alluring uh, very magnetic in that way well there's just a lot of beauty between you both the way that you communicate the energy that you share um, it could also be that you have like open them up to new creative avenues, new creative ideas, seeing the world in a new way, seeing the beauty in the world, you know, through the way, through the lens through which you see life and experiences in the world. So yeah, a lot of high vibrational energy between you and your person. Um, let's see what else is going on. Forward footsteps. Here we go. It says that you are on the correct path. Okay, so there's a bit of a kind of Knight of Pentacles energy with this. So this could be like a little bit of a slow burn between you and your person. It could start off as friends, something like this. You could have known this person for a long time, but this is definitely saying that you and this person are going in the right direction in terms of this connection. Or if you feel like this has gone off track, okay, you're taking those steps step by step in order to get it back on track. That's what I'm hearing from Spirit, okay? Course correcting maybe as well. Um, that may be relevant for some of you. Remember, these are general readings, not one-to-one -one readings. They are different. So just take what resonates and what makes you feel good. Whoops, that's way too many cards. And, uh, you know, leave, leave whatever isn't for you. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to take this one as well. Oh, I like this. Uh, we have mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. So there is a spiritual lesson that you are learning as a result of the connection with this person uh, that you are coming into awareness of or your person is. And we have balance. So this is about like equal reciprocity, like giving and receiving, making sure that you're not becoming depleted by giving too much. I feel like this is quite a balanced relationship, actually. This card usually indicates um, that there is an imbalance and that may resonate with you for some of you resonate for you, excuse me. Um, but what I'm mainly sensing here is that um, you both bring a lot to the table and those things may be different, but they are equal in nature. All right, sorry, I just had to um, adjust my camera settings because it's getting too gloomy and dark out there. So I wanted you to be able to see everything. Let's see what else we have for you. Exchange, yeah, that balance, that exchange, that giving and receiving. Is that in balance for you in this connection? Does it feel fair? Um, are they meeting your needs? All of these kind of questions. But I feel I'm seeing scales that are equally ba balanced. So you're like um, a good match for one another, very compatible is what I'm sensing. And like I was saying, it could be that you bring different things to the table, but um, they are like equal in value and in nature, okay? That's what I'm sensing as well. I feel like you're exchanging like a lot of um, emotional energy between you and this person, that there is a good flow from your heart to their heart as well. So let's see, and that you communicate very well. Um, you're able to communicate your feelings, your ideas, um, that there's like a beautiful creative exchange between you of ide ideas, 
um, that you can be very enthusiastic about. Let's see what else we have. What is going on in this connection? There's something here about commitment that I'm seeing Taurus energy showing up in your reading right now. I feel like there could be like a lack of commitment or a broken promise over commitment is what I'm seeing. And it now feels like um, somebody in this connection is really in an energy of loss right now. Over this, I'm hearing that you they're not the person you thought they were. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that's just something that's coming through as well. I feel like this is a significant person in your life. They've shared like significant experiences. You have shared significant experiences. They're part of your soul tribe, part of your soul family. There may have been a financial loss here, which is affecting this connection for some of you, not for all of you. Like a stock market crash or um, like a business. Uh, that they were working for, you know, like redundancy, something like that. If that's the case, you already know about it. I'm not predicting anything. It's the current situation and that may uh, be affecting your person or be affecting um, this connection. Maybe that someone in this connection is going through a low point because um, I do feel like you've shared like a lot of happiness together, but this may be a little bit more mundane or it could just be that somebody is feeling a little bit anxious or depressed. Due to circumstances, maybe something to do with their family. There could be a broken promise that they're unable to commit to you or they haven't committed to you. Someone in this connection may fear that they're not going to commit, that someone isn't going to commit for the long term or recognises that this person isn't necessarily going to be in their life for a long time. I'm not really sensing that though. I feel like you've got history with this person. What I'm hearing is that you've got history with this person. You've shared a lot of good times together. Let's see what else we have. This person loves you from the bottom of their heart. Taurus energy, Libra energy, <clears throat> Cancer energy, Leo's energy. Represented that may resonate with you. Is what I'm sensing. Sorry, I'm getting a few messages coming through and I'm working out how to express them to you. So, yeah, they feel like they can be very raw with you, very vulnerable, very honest about their feelings. They want to take steps closer towards you, that forward footsteps. They want to be on the right path. They want to be taking steps towards you. I see them wanting to make, make a romantic gesture towards you. That's what I'm sensing. They want to get closer. They want to experience more of your energy. You're like nobody that they've ever met before. Um, there's like a, an intimacy between you and this person, right? Which is very special and very unique and that you have, right? It's an intimacy. You don't have that with just anybody is what I'm sensing. Again, this en energy that they have you up on the pedestal. They have you, they see you as very elevated above other people. They see you as someone that really is able to receive what it is that they have to offer and they love that about you. They love it that you are, um, that you have like a very complex emotional landscape. You're able to connect to a lot of deep feelings, that you're able to connect with this person on a deep level. They love that about you. They love it that you're open hearted. They love it that you have so much compassion for other people. Um, and again, they see you as just very elevated above other people, uh, you know, that you have wisdom and that they find you very attractive, just very magnetic. They want to come towards you. They find you very nourishing, like, like really good to be around, like it really enriches their life to have you in it. And they only want to pursue the, pursue you. They only want this to go deeper. They only want to get closer to you. But there is some kind of sadness or loss around like the long-term potential of this or a promise that's been made. We'll explore it.
Leo Sagittarius, Scorpio energy showing up in your reading that may resonate with you in your situation. Again, I just feel like there may be some conflict between you. You are kindred spirits. You are soulmates. I do feel like you you can be confident in this person to make a good decision or to uh, be there for you, right? You can feel confident in that. I feel like your person really respects you. That's what I'm sensing. But there there is some frustration around you, around maybe um, trying to get your attention, trying to get you to notice them. Um, or about them expressing their feelings or what's really in their heart or really on their mind. There's some frustration around that. It may be because they're struggling to express it. Or they may not have the opportunity to do that. too many wow a lot of scattered energy here it could also be that you've had like oh for some of them they don't like it when you get attention from other people it makes them feel like jealous or insecure in some way but mainly jealous is what i'm sensing when you know other people check you out or other people are interested in you or just when you're talking to your friends it's like they want all of you so jealousy may be an issue here. Let's see. Whoa. Strong energy of rejection. Cancer's energy here. Did they offer you something that you rejected? Like an idea for the future? A particular living arrangement is something there's something about this connection where they feel defeated by it they feel a little bit depressed about it or just a strong energy of kind of rejection from your person where they felt rejected maybe that wasn't your intention right with them it wasn't your intention to reject them I don't know why, I just feel like you've pushed them away or that you're not interested in this person or you're not interested in any, in them anymore. Or that one person in this connection is um, has deeper feelings than the other or is more committed. Not necessarily. They want to move past this though. Whatever the disagreement is, whatever the argument or the friction between you is, Maybe you just asserted a boundary, something like this. This has only increased their respect for you. Okay. <laughs> maybe you've put them in their place, is what I'm hearing. Uh, for some of them, maybe they thought they could get away with something or that something will be okay with you, but it isn't. Maybe you've put them in their place, but they want to move on from that now. Like they've learned their lesson. Is what I'm hearing. It's a lot of forward motion here as well, like like a lot of uh, impetus, a lot of desire to um, want to overcome any issues or difficulties, you know, find solutions, be solutions focused in order to move forward with this. Your person's torn between their head and their heart when it comes to this connection as well. Like there's something about this connection where they're trying to meet opposing needs. Could be that you and your person have opposing needs or different love languages, or this could be something that is uh, a conflict within themselves where they're trying to marry those two things together and not always being successful. Let's see. Oops, that was weird. Um, oh, your person, they've got, they care about you very deeply. They have genuine love for you here. I feel like you're going through a, like a difficult patch or a rough patch after um, good times together. It may be even that you are committed to this person, married to them, living with them, already in a relationship with them. And that you're going through like a difficult patch or a rough patch or maybe like a period of separation. Your person is really struggling to move forward is what I'm sensing. 
Whatever it is, whatever's happened, they feel like a lot of loss around that. I feel like they're not taking any action towards you, that they're not making like any moves. They're being, which is making it uh, quite frustrating for you because you don't know what's going on with them. They're not talking about things. They're not letting on how they're feeling. They're not giving much away. And you don't see anything in the 3D. You don't see any evidence of change. You don't see any evidence of them uh, taking any action towards you. Your person is really struggling emotionally, I've got to say that. If you're not together, they're really struggling without you as well. And they still want to be with you, definitely. It's like this, they feel like there's nobody else for them, that nobody else compares, that nobody else would be as good. Anybody else would be second best. There's something here which is weighing very heavily on your person's heart. It's like they want you to know how sorry they are or how sorry they feel for themselves or how sad they are about the situation. They feel like there's nothing that they can do. They feel like it's circumstances that are out of their control. Like whatever this is, however this is resonating with you, and this may not necessarily be the case. Right? Sometimes they just feel like there's nothing that I can do about this aspect of myself or about this problem or about this situation. And that could be like a limiting belief on their behalf, that they're laboring under this belief. It's making them feel stressed as well. It's maybe nothing to do with this connection. It could be to do with their work situation, particularly if they're involved in a family business, that they feel really stressed. And they don't know what to do. And so they end up doing nothing. I feel like I'm not in the pit of my stomach. You can take this how it resonates. Okay, I see things getting better. I see the energies kind of lightening up. I see your person being able to get clarity around this situation. I feel like this is a cloud that's kind of covered the sun. You may both be Leos or both be fire signs, okay? Or you could be like a Leo and a Libra or a Leo and a Taurus. That's the case. This is a particular message for you, but not necessarily. Um, that's what I'm sensing. So I feel like there's a cloud that's passing over the sun, you know, whatever this is, this ability to meet your needs, this issue, this problem, which has come to the surface for healing to be dealt with. Okay. This is not a deal breaker is what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay. They still hold like so much regard for you, so much love for you. They want to experience more good times with you. I see you moving into more positive energies, higher vibrational energies. I see your person finding a solution to whatever it is that they're going through. Okay. And still holding you you in their heart they see you as the empress okay as absolutely the best okay regardless of your gender they see you as this person who can receive what they have to offer they see you as someone who's super attractive who is super nourishing to be around um who is uh really magical um they love being in your presence they feel like there's nobody else for them who could possibly compare to you okay and i feel like they're leaving behind any outside influence taking this more seriously. It may be that they over rely on you a little bit for validation, for support. That may have felt like too much pressure for you or made you feel uncomfortable in some way or that they needed to reach out to other people for support and help and advice and not just you. That may resonate for some of you. But if there's been like a an external third party energy and in this instance I really feel like this is to do with work or business or family or responsibilities okay they're going to prioritize you over those those things now because I feel like they've been getting stressed about something about money about business again particularly if it's a family business and that that has had an impact um, and created an imbalance in your connection stopped it from moving forward Okay, but I see them prioritizing you now over those things. And it's going to bring you both a lot of happiness.
Yeah, the big changes coming in for you that are really positive between you and your person. They're leaving behind something which really wasn't in alignment for them that was creating them a lot of unhappiness. I feel like this is external to your connection, right? This could be a place, could be a work situation. You know, maybe they were staying there because they thought it was their duty or their responsibility or because they thought it was the best thing, like a practical measure, but it wasn't resonating with them in their heart. And this was making them feel a little bit low and maybe kind of low feelings or depression crept up on them without them even realizing. They may not have even spoken to you about this, but again, this strong energy, which I really love that you're moving towards like a calmer, calmer waters to, uh, you know, a new horizon in this connection. I feel like you and your person have a lot of history together or that you're already in a relationship or a connection. If you're overseas or in separate places, then I see them coming towards you, being able to align with you in terms of time, uh, place and space, right? Is what I'm hearing. And I feel like a lucky break is what I'm hearing as well. So it may be that like you feel like outside forces or outside circumstances have been against you, like life has been against you or your person feels like life has been against you or against this match, right? But I feel a lucky break coming, like an opportunity coming in, which is gonna allow you guys to align with one another in terms of practicalities or in terms of, of like being in union with one another. So an opportunity coming in. I see just clouds parting as well and the sun coming out really strongly. That's the image I keep getting for your reading. So it feels like there is a beautiful connection between you both. You bring a lot to each other's lives, but I feel like a cloud has passed over this and you're thinking this isn't as good as it used to be or this is much more of a struggle. We used to be much happier together right, if this is your message, but this is changing, this cloud which has whatever it is that's clouded, this connection is now clearing, okay, this fog, this cloud is now clearing in order for you to uh, come into alignment, to experience more happiness, to experience, uh, you know, something quite fortuitous, good fortune, something that you've been trying to manifest, Okay, so over the next few months, this is something that's going to clear up. They're going to be able to like take steps back onto the right path. You know, at the beginning, we talked about getting sidetracked or being on the wrong path. You're getting back onto the right path now for you both. And I feel like there's been like a lot of external factors, responsibilities that have played their part in this. <clears throat> Maybe an illness or a mental illness for some of them. Okay, or for some of you guys that may resonate, okay, this is something that you're moving on from, that you're going to be able to come out of, you're going to be able to support each other, you're doing this together, you are a team, is what I'm hearing, and a lot of positivity coming in for you. Okay, those are all the messages that I have for you today. Thank you so much for being here with me. I've loved being here with you guys. Let me know how it resonates in the comments. Do check out Cassamba if you want to get a personal reading for yourself to have your personal questions answered and have someone connect to your own energy. All right, um, you get three minutes absolutely for free with Cassamba. You can have one question answered or use that three minutes as many times as you like to find a reader who you resonate with because that's really important when you're getting a personal reading. Plus, if you want to continue your call after the three minutes, which are free, you get 70% off your entire call. So you can get a five star psychic reading for a fraction of the normal price. So it's a really amazing deal. Cassamba are really friendly, lots of lovely people over at Cassamba. So do check them out if it resonates, it's linked below. But I'm sending you love, take care.